Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also manually add multiple Excel tables to manually create a data model within a workbook, which you can then use as the data source for pivot tables, pivot charts, and Power View reports. Before you can do this, however, you must first create the necessary tables within Excel and ensure that the information is formatted as a table within the worksheets. Only table data that has been formatted as a table with a table name value that can be referenced can be added as a data source when adding tables to the data model. Also note, however, that the tables can be available within any opened workbook in Excel and do not necessarily need to be included within the workbook into which they will be added to the data model. Once you have the tables opened and available in Excel, simply open the workbook where you want to include the tables within the data model. Then click the Data tab within the ribbon. Then click the Connections button that appears within the Connections button group on the Data tab to open the Workbook Connections dialog box. This dialog box normally displays workbook connections that are available to a workbook and where those connections are used within the workbook. To add Excel tables to the data model within this dialog box, click the drop-down arrow button that appears to the right of the Add button within the Workbook Connections dialog box. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Add to the Data Model command. When you do this, the Existing Connections dialog box will appear. Click the Tables tab within the Existing Connections dialog box to view a list of the available Excel tables within any opened workbooks. Select the desired table that you want to add to the data model, and then click the Open button to add that table as the initial table to the data model within the workbook. You can then see the table reference shown within the Workbook Connections dialog box. You can then repeat this process, starting by clicking the Add Buttons drop-down menu again, to repeat these same steps to continue adding any other Excel tables that you would like to the data model. Now once you have finished adding the necessary tables to the data model, Click the Close button within the Workbook Connections dialog box to close it. At that point, you can then select the data model as the desired data source when creating pivot tables and pivot charts. Within the Create Pivot Table or Create Pivot Chart dialog boxes, you can click the Use an External Data Source Option button and then click the Choose Connection button to open the Existing Connections dialog box. Here you can select the Tables tab, and then click on the Tables in Workbook Data Model Choice within the This Workbook Data Model shown. Then click the Open button to return to the Create Pivot Table or Create Pivot Chart dialog boxes where you can finish creating the desired objects. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.